Hey YouTube, this is Orion making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button and also please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. This is my overview of the Wii 801 Minotaur. The Wii 801 Minotaur, see below in the description box for the full stats on this knife, is a titanium and carbon fibre frame lock flipper. Features M390 blade steel with an advertised HRC of 59 to 61. Has a flat grind and a very nice satin finish. But that finish does tend to be a bit of a finger magnet. But anyway, fingerprint magnet. But that's the finish that they applied to it. Has textured carbon fibre inlays on both sides and with this anodized frame. And they actually do come in several colours. There's a blue, this one, a grey or a bronze as well. Features jimping on the spine and the spine has been radiosized, which is a very nice touch. Large sharpening choil, jimping on the flipper tab, a short titanium back spacer with this tie tread jimping and integrated lanyard hole and a slight cut out for the pass through there that allows easier access to the lock. There's the lock up, it's quite good. It also features a modified sheep's foot blade. The choil on this really is only a sharpening choil. It's not really a, mm, suitable for choking up as your finger, my finger does as soon as I go onto it. I can feel it's already going onto the blade, so it doesn't really doesn't really feature as a finger choil. It's just an oversized sharpening choil. So the pros for this knife is its fit and finish. Everything is again really well chamfered. As I mentioned before, it's got that radius size spine, which not a lot of companies do. It's a very nice custom sort of finish. Um, and the fit and finish, everything on it is really well done. Like it's all, tolerances are good. It's centered. There's no blade play or rock lock. As you can see the fingerprint straight away, as soon as you touch the blade, it, um, starts fingerprinting but anyway that's just the way it is and the custom touches as I said the radius size spine um, this textured G, uh, textured carbon fiber it's really well done this features both sides so it looks really well and it, and it's good because it gives you a nice purchase on the hand there it is in the hammer grip for my Extra large hands, fits my, it's, this is another one of those three and a half inch blades that is in that perfect sizing for me, perfect sizing for EDCing. It, um, I found the three and a half inch blade, about, f you know, f four and a half inch handle size, gives me just enough handle to fit my hand, give me a full four finger grip. And allows me to have a still a usable blade length. Rides well, really well in the pocket. That's Weed's clip. Uh, this is a bit of a departure. They, for some reason, it's still got this sharpened area here, which is I actually would prefer the way they do it now. Is they actually 
round that off so it goes a little bit it can be a little bit pokey in the pocket like it catches on not catches but will poke into your pocket lips occasionally but that's neat it's a really nitpicky little thing but it's still there something to consider the cons of the knife are it's sluggish um flipping action it it's not as snappy as some of them and see there that was a fail you can you can fail it quite easily that one didn't you shouldn't be able to do that. If it if they tighten the detent up a little bit on it, it would have fired a lot better. But that that is a con for this knife, as far as I can see. It's quite smooth, like you can see. It'll it'll wiggle shut pretty. Get over the detent, and, um, and it, it fires okay. It's just not as snappy as it could be. The other con on this knife is its price point. Um, this is about as a hundred dollars more Aussie than the other models that the M three ninety and you know, titanium with carbon fiber inserts. They they tend to run at about three hundred and fifty three hundred and sixty dollars. Well, this one comes in at just over four hundred. So it is um. It is starting to become quite an expensive knife for that, for this model. And that is the other con that I see with it. Its um, price point isn't as it, the value for money. It, it's a very well made knife, very well executed. It has a, a lot of the custom touches that I've, I've pointed out. And it's a good knife, don't get me wrong. But I think it is slightly, slightly overpriced. But that's about it for it. That's the Minotaur. It, um, overall, quite a nice knife. I really like it. It just, um, if only they'd made that action just a little bit snappier, it would have been a really 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 good knife then it would have gone from really good to excellent just showing both sides all around it anyway that's the Wii Minotaur thanks for watching